Father, restore her sight in Jesus' marvelous name. Close this eye for me. Open this eye. somebody her eye is back her eye is back by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead yes you are holy and you are holy and you are mighty I could not hear before. Now I can hear the power of Jesus has healed me. Jesus. His hair is falling out. Put your hands in your hair. How old is he? Nine. Look at me, son. Don't worry. Jesus has come to take it away. From today your hair will grow and it will not fall out again. Go in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke you in Jesus' mighty name. Because all the kids that saw this young man bold, all the neighbors that saw him bold, need to know that there is a God. Okay, tell me back your testimony. I had alopecia areata, and the doctor said it would grow back, but it wasn't growing back fast as I wanted it to. And then I came to you, and then it came, it started growing back in. This is your son? What had happened? Well, it happened a couple of years ago when he had a haircut. And the haircut, was for some reason, he had an allergic reaction to it. And all the hair all around his head started to fall off. I we went to several doctors. Well, it'll, it'll grow. It'll be okay. And we saw nothing. And we came late one night here. And we received prayer for him. And you said, Dad, leave him alone. He'll be okay. Within weeks, the hair started to fall Since she was two years old, her right ear was blocked. But when you prayed, she said she felt a wind enter her ear. She is now 19 years old. And her ear has just popped open by the power of God. You can see she's beside herself. God has performed a miracle for her. Hey, hey. What, what happened to you? My, my right my right here got blocked when I was two years old. My dad said I cried too much. My dad said I cried too much. That's why my ears got blocked. And I out where you to But now Combate. when Pastor Kayanza prayed. But right now, you never Hallelujah. But when you pray, the power of God came upon her. She can now see, she can now see clearly. Somebody brought her here yesterday. How many years have you been blind? Forty years. It was into this place that God led a young Ugandan evangelist by the name of Robert Kayanja. 
he was accompanied by six intercessors. This is our waning war where we used to pray. I Besides to... contending with lawless soldiers, Robert's team was also confronted by a powerful witch doctor named Musoki. I mean, there was kind of a fear that walked with this man. After being threatened with death, the intercessors cried out to God. Within days, it was Musoki who was dead. After the death of this uh, famous witch, Musoki, we begin to see the heavens open. Kayanja's tiny congregation became a vast multitude. The Miracle Center Cathedral now seats 10,000 people, and the fellowship has given birth to 600 daughter congregations. And the healing process began. Not surprisingly, it is a change fueled by prayer. So churches began to pray in zones. It's like bees. You can hear bees through the night. Every community praying, every zone praying. And I felt like, you know what? The enemy must find another city, but not compare. Unity is another hallmark of the present revival. The work that God has been doing in this land cannot be claimed by any individual or any church or any ministry. Citywide pastors' gatherings are common. Even the dire World Health Organization report on AIDS did not shape the believer's confidence in God. We have seen the AIDS virus heal, and the doctors go, wow, I can't explain this, but there must be a God up there somewhere. I had chest pain, I had the skin rash. I started vomiting. These were terminal cases. I lost the appetite. I couldn't eat. People with full-blown AIDS. I grew very, very thin as a pope. After what being prayed for, for, many you know, sensed God's heart, touch. That there is something changing that, that, that very moment, that very night, the power of God came down, and I felt it. Not surprisingly, these self-proclaimed healings elicited serious skepticism from medical caregivers. Why have you bothered yourself to come here? because your status and your appearance shows that you are a victim. But in time, this skepticism turned to amazement. My doctor looked at me. He was amazed. He said, hey, are you still living? I was checked. There's no AIDS. They read my name, Ruth Bidawa, HIV negative. And they told me you are HIV negative, non-reactive. There's no virus in your body. Then the rest of the symptoms start to disappear one by one. God had healed me totally. It and was a refrain now, heard thousands of times across Uganda. But as I talk to you right now, I have experienced over 372 AIDS patients being healed. Uganda has been recorded as one of the first countries to see a decline in HIV. But we believe it's because of our prayer, and we believe it's because of the love and the grace of God. It is also because Uganda has promoted abstinence and faithfulness as their primary weapons against AIDS. The power of God has also been manifested in the political arena. In divine timing, God wrote leadership. God began to put people in place. So in the presence of the president and first lady, we covenanted the nation to God for the next 1,000 years. The covenant which included the signatures of the president and first lady, was remarkably explicit. We are that we have put on other before you and worship It read like a passage out of the Old Testament. Covenanting our nation, Uganda, to the purposes of God and to the lordship of Jesus Christ. 